Today I'm going to show you a new product from BuildTac. It's the Flex Plate System. This is compatible with uh, Ultimaker 3D printers. Um, I'll just get it out to show you what you get. And this is designed to um, speed up the process of removing your prints and switching, getting a new print ready. So inside we've got the instructions, a sheet of BuildTac, the flex plate itself, which is really quite flexible, and you can bend this in both directions. You can really put quite a bit of uh, force on it, and it will return to a flat um, state. And then the third component is the magnetic base, and this is what you apply to the glass bed of your 3D printer. Um, so it's, it's really simple to apply. Uh, the first thing you need to do is apply this magnetic section. And this has just got a, a clear lining on a self-adhesive um, backing. So you literally just remove that like this and apply it to your glass plate. And you should have something that looks like this. And you see there's cutouts in the corners to accommodate for the clips for the Ultimaker here, which is ideal. Um, so I'll just stick this on our printer now. Like so, that's ready to go. And then the next section is the flex plate, and you need to apply a bill tack sheet to this. And these are the consumable part, um, but you should get quite a long life from it. Um, the one thing to bear in mind is when you're applying it, um, you really want to make sure you do it nice and evenly, and you don't want to get any bubbles in that. Um, so we find the easiest way to do it is to use a business card um, and take your time there's a backing um, paper on this sheet. Um, so just apply and work from one side to the other, slowly removing the backing paper um, and using the card to scrape it on. And then once you've done that, you'll have a flex plate that looks a bit like this. Um, so ours has been used a few times. Um, I'm just gonna show you now um, how to get printing with it. Um, there is one final step actually that you'll need to do before you print, because um, obviously you've added a little bit of material there between the glass and where your print head's gonna start printing, so you'll need to re-level the bed. Um, so the first thing we'll do is do that, and then we'll get a print going. So you just want to run through your usual leveling process, and if you're unfamiliar with the Ultimaker 2, there's a link in the top right-hand corner there. The only difference we're going to make this time is we're going to use a business card's thickness uh, to re-level. Um, it just needs to be a little bit further away than when you're printing directly on the glass. Right, so that's our print finished. And you literally just remove the uh, top section here. And then to, to remove our print, which we just need to flex the plate, like so. And you can flex it quite a bit, it will return to its um, original shape. And that's just uh, loosened the print and it comes off that easily. Um, so once that's done, just remove any last little bits of filament that are stuck on the plate and you're ready to go again. It's as easy as that. Literally just reapply it to the magnetic section and um, set your next print going. Uh, if you've got any other questions about the um, BuildTac uh, flex plate system, um, just leave your comments in the section below and we'll be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.